Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is an easy full face tutorial, so let's get right into it. Before we start, let's make sure those lips are moisturized. I'm now going in with a primer, which can help your makeup last longer. I did my eyebrows off camera. I'll include a link to the video if you want to check it out. I'm now going in with the foundation. So foundation just evens out the skin tone. It may cover up any flaws that you may have. And it kind of creates this blank canvas for you to work with. Guys, this foundation is so pretty. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the concealer. Concealers are similar to foundation. They're just a little thicker and they add additional coverage when you need it. Right here, I'm just using it to highlight my under eye and other areas in my face where I want to brighten. Now I'm going in with contour, which is used to sculpt and add definition to the face. You can use it underneath your cheekbone, your forehead, or your nose or your jawline to define its shape. Okay, y'all, I know I look a little crazy, but trust the process here. <laughs> so now I'm going to blend out the concealer as well as the contour to make sure that it blends well with the foundation. I wanna make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. It should all blend in together. You can also use concealer as an eyeshadow primer, which I'm doing here. Now I'm taking a damp sponge and lightly tapping it all over my face just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. With that same sponge, I'm going to set my concealer. I'm also going to set my eyelids to prepare for my eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with blush, which is by far my favorite part. You can apply blush anywhere on your face. You can apply it on your cheekbones, your forehead, across your nose. 
and it just provides a beautiful flush of color that brightens up the face. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the setting powder, which is going to keep my makeup in place. And it's going to make sure that my makeup looks shine free and flawless. And then I'm going to use a bronzer to bring the warmth back into my face. Now I'm going in with a powder blush to set down that liquid brush that I used before. Now it's time for the eyes. Eyeshadow can add depth and dimension to the eyes, complement one's eye color, and makes one's eyes appear larger or simply draw attention to the eyes. First I'm going in with the transition color in the crease. This is going to help my other eyeshadows blend easily together. And using that same brush, I'm going to deepen out that crease even more. Now with a smaller brush, I'm going to darken out the outer corner, which is going to give the most dimension to this part of the eye, and it's going to balance out the entire eye look. I'm going to take that first brush I used and blend, making sure that there's no harsh lines. Using a flat brush, I'm going to brighten up the rest of my eyelid. Now I'm going to connect the eyeshadows to prevent any harsh lines between the two. Here, I'm dipping back into that darker eyeshadow to reinforce that outer corner. And doing the same with the transition color. Here, I'm taking it a step further and brightening up that very innermost corner of the eye. Now I'm going to apply eyeliner, which is going to make my lashes look more fuller and lush. It's also going to draw attention to my eyes and can enhance or even change the shape of the eyes. Now I'm going in with mascara, which is used to darken, thicken, lengthen, and define the eyelashes. I also have a tutorial on how to apply mascara. If you're interested, I'll leave that linked as well. Using a spoolie, I'm brushing out my eyebrows to create a more natural look. Not me about to use eyebrow gel for mascara. <laughs> Brow gel is used to lock your eyebrows in place. It can also be used to add thickness to sparse areas in your eyebrows. Here I'm wiping off that chapstick from before and then I'm going to go in with a lipstick and then top that off with a lip gloss. And last but not least, setting spray, which can extend the wear of your makeup. 
I'm then going to take that damp beauty sponge and lightly tap in any excess droplets left behind from the setting spray. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one.